and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about the color green. Oh my gosh, I hear so many things about the color green. You all jump on the bandwagon and say, I hate green. I'm gonna show you how to love green. All right, it's on the color wheel. Why not use it? So I know when color comes right out of the tube, it's pretty raw, it's so green. And there you are, green. But I don't really use that color. I kind of make my colors I'm gonna show you in a minute. But what I do like to use this solid green right out of the tube is a highlight. It's a highlight, not necessarily the entire, say the green pepper here. Lots of other colors are in there, but it looks great as a highlight, right? So what I've made for me in the studio is a, is a chart. How to make green. Well, we all know yellow, blue makes green, but other colors can make a green too. It doesn't have to be so raw and in your face. So I made a chart of how I get greens. Here's an orange and a blue. Would you ever think you made that color? With lots of white, by the way. Look at this, yellow, blue. That's what we're talking about. Beautiful green, different green. This is why you wanna make your own chart. Look at this one, green and purple. Who would have thought? Look at that beautiful, neutral, grayish green. It's still in the green family. And I continued on all the way down here. Here's more green and purples. Here's an orange, kind of a yellowish orange and a, dark, and a light blue. You get that color. So you can get some beautiful soft greens with a green, but add complementary colors and lots of white. Here's an abstract painting I'm working on. Look at all the different greens in here. Okay, I'm not gonna get into the color chart just now, but I want to use it, it's really soft, really approachable for me, more neutral. This is a great exercise because when I go to do something that's more recognizable, like these flowers, I will mix the blue and the yellow and lots of white until I get this beautiful color. Look at this color. It could be really this dark, but when I add lots of white to it, that's the important part. Mixing lots of white, I get this beautiful neutral tone. So why is that important? So when I'm doing things that are more of a recognizable image, I'll put that color in the whole background. But then here's the magic. I'll use those two pure colors of yellow and blue, yellow and blue. Bam, look how it pops forward. Because I've only used those two colors plus white. Mixing them up makes them more homogenous, I guess, and they all kind of work together. Let me do some mixing for you and show you how I get the color green to be my best friend. So here's one of my favorite paints, middle green from Holbein, acrylic paint, full body, lots of pigment. I like to have it here in case I use it as a highlight. Personally, I like to mix my own green. I'm looking at my own chart, a little bit of orangish yellow, kind of like a marigold, comp compost blue, any light blue will do just fine. And by mixing those two plus a lot of white, I'm going to get this color, and that's the color I'm looking for, for this background. So this one is really all about mixing colors. So I don't want to use raw colors, I like to make my own greens. I like choices. So here's that orangish yellow, picking up a whole lot of blue. Ow. Pretty dark, huh? I'm just going to put this down here, just to let you see what the two look like when they're mixed. So it's not so raw but I need to start adding lots of white. And here's where it gets to be fun. Lots of white, big brush, not a tiny little brush. See, it's getting softer already. Softer, softer. It's still green. And the beautiful part about this is I've made it myself in the studio. Very satisfactory. More white into the pastel side. Look at this. It would behoove you to make your own chart of all these different combinations like I've been doing. It's the only way I've learned mixing my own colors, not necessarily right out of the tube. Now here's the cool thing. Here are those colors from blue and this marigold orangish yellow color. Look how beautiful they can be. But what happens when I bring in the raw color right out of the tube? Watch how it just floats off and just literally the background goes away. The raw colors 
pop, but they're floating in the air. It's a great technique to use when you want the background to recede and maybe the object that you're painting to come forward. So that's all about color mixing. There's many more colors that you can mix. I'm going to highly suggest you make your own color mixing chart. Not something that's out of a magazine or a catalog. Make your own on real watercolor paper and hang it up. It's a great reference tool and it's amazing how your paintings come together. I hope you enjoy this and that's green forever. Okay, so let them be green with envy with your new painting. Talk to you later on the next Baha Blast. Stay tuned.